In this video, let's start with what is the differentiation of inverse trigonometric functions. We have already seen the change rule and so we will be proving and deriving the formulas for the differentiation of inverse trigonometric functions by the same chain rule or the chain method. Now, there are various types of trigonometric functions like sin, cos, tan, cosec, etc. Similarly, there are also various types of inverse trigonometric functions and those inverse trigonometric functions are namely like sin inverse, cos inverse. So, here into picture we are taking sin inverse x. Now, what is the differentiation of sin inverse x? That you have to learn, memorize and that is equal to 1 upon under root 1 minus x square. Sin inverse x derivation with respect to x or differentiation is nothing but 1 upon under root 1 minus x square. The condition on x lies because it is the case of sin inverse x. So, you have to remember that x must belong to minus 1 to 1. Let us prove how is the de differentiation or the derivative of sin inverse x 1 upon under root 1 minus x square. I give the heading as proof and we start with the proof of derivative of sin inverse x. I say let y is equal to sin inverse x. If y is equal to sin inverse x, I have to say that my sin y is equal to x. How? Just take sin both sides. So, sin y is equal to sin sin inverse x. Sin and sin inverse cancel. So, it is basically x only. This can be put in one box. Next. Next is what? Since we are talking about differentiation, we need something in the form of d by dx or dy by dx. For that, let me write down differentiating both sides, differentiating both sides with respect to what? Because we need dy by dx, so it should be with respect to x. Now, what is the answer? Let us see. Sin y differentiation with respect to x is cos y and y's differentiation is what? That means we will be applying chain rule, right? So, you start with sin, you see that the differentiation of sin is cos and then you encounter a y and when you encounter a y, you see that this y is something which again has a differentiation, which is what? Which is dy by dx. This is what is chain rule all about, right? Now, equal to is there then what is the differentiation of x with respect to dx or x again that is nothing but 1 because x is a variable treated with dx differentiation gives me 1. Now what is dy by dx from here? It is nothing but 1 upon cos y right because 1 is here cos y goes to the other side in the division. Now this can be put in a box but you see my formula should not be in cos rather it should be in x not in y, right? So, what is sin square y plus cos square y equal to? Sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. From here, can you take out the formula of cos square y? 1 minus sin square y, right? Now, what is cos y? Nothing but under root 1 minus sin square y. This will be using, let us use this, let us name this equation 1 and say that from 1, from 1, what is the value of dy by dx? It is nothing but 1 upon under root 1 minus sin square y. So, it is like this. Now, most of you must have arrived at the answer by now. What is sin y? Sin y is nothing but x, right? So, when sin y is x, I can say the answer is equal to 1 upon 1 minus sin y whole square that means x square right so it is x square and that is what we needed to prove that what that d by dx of y what is y y is nothing but sin inverse x is equal to 1 upon under root 1 minus x square since this is the final result i will be enclosing this in a box and this is the proof but in examination in most of the cases you won't be asked to prove it rather it will be in the form of a question so better remember the formula of d by dx sin inverse x which is 1 upon under root 1 minus x square.